Coon Cassis IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Leeds here. I'm joined by Isaac Lowe. I'm back live on the station. What's happening? Oh, good. Uh, long time no CQ. Uh, good, really. I'm looking forward to getting back in these boxing shows and getting the feeling for it again. Right, before we talk about uh, today, <laughs> um, yeah, Steve Wood won the first bid for your fight with uh, Ryan Walsh, which is great news for you. Yeah, great news for me because now he's fighting on my terms, coming down to my ends, do you know what I mean? And uh, nearly na eight, nine months later, I'm going to hopefully get me a chance of my British title, what I want. Uh, but we'll soon see now if he fights or not fight. But you've got to remember, he's 31, he's getting older by the minute, so if he doesn't want to run sharpen his pencil up, he's going to go blunt and then he's, once I beat him, he's going to it's just over for a minute, so I'm looking forward to fighting him. Really, he's read a lot of mouth going Twitter. I know I have myself, but listen, at the end of the day, it's business. Set the fight on, but if I was him, I'd think wisely and safely about his career because if he loses to me, he's gone nowhere. He's 31. If he loses his British title, then he's goosed, isn't he? So. Obviously, you've been calling the fight more so vocally over the last few months and we, obviously I spoke to you just after the Billy Joe Saunders fight with uh, William Monroe Jr. Um, the fight uh, is looking to be on now but do you believe that the fight will actually take place? Uh, I believe it will take place because uh, at the end of the day he's got, I am not keep saying this but his, his age has gone up, uh, he's got out, he needs to fight, you know what I mean, he's got no other route to go now, now we've won the purse bid, it's out of shit a bus for him, do you know what I mean? Or less he wants to wait, wait for his turn for a bigger fight, which if I was in these, I'm not saying just to say it like, but if I was in these shoes, I would vacate because he's won out, right? He doesn't need it. He's getting shit money what, what he doesn't want. He's got a chance of getting a bigger fight and uh, moving on with his career. But as I said, if he loses to me, it's over, isn't it? He's 31 years of age, he's not getting younger, he's getting older by the second, and I'm growing into my peak, you know what I mean? I'm only 23 years old, 23 year old and uh, I've still got a lot a lot to come for me. If I, if I did lose, and even though I won't lose, I can always come back and uh, move on, but I'm confident beating Ryan Walsh. I, I said it from day one, and I'll say it any day I'll beat Ryan Walsh. But this to you is about the British title, not specifically Ryan Walsh. Is that fair to say or not? Yeah, it's about for me. To, listen, it's not about me and Ryan. That belt, something well, as I started off boxing, was that any young boxer's dream is just to, to win the British title. It's a fantastic belt. It's most, the best belt in boxing. I know you've got your world championship, but it's the prettiest belt. It's the oldest belt. And it's about what I always wanted to. I've won the Commonwealth, I've won the English. So in my 16th fight, if I win the British, I'm not doing bad for a 23 year old kid. Uh, and then hopefully I can push on and then try and get one of them big fights for what I deserve. So who you are, 23? 23 year old. I'm only a baby, baby. <laughs> uh, right, you was at the press conference obviously today. We just had with uh, Josh uh, Warrington. Another thing I just want to say there. Oh. I've just got to say a big, use, a huge thanks for Steve for backing me on there putting the faith in me to put that much money down for me to, to win the purse big and believe me obviously it shows you've got faith in me and uh, my team Jimmy and all them everyone's keep me on my toes and uh, I can't wait for that I can't wait to box next week to be fair I'm boxing next Friday in Hull uh, I'm, honestly I'm starting to got the love back for boxing like the last few, few months with the fight messing about and I didn't know what was going on Frank didn't know what was putting it on we agreed terms and then it wasn't going off and then I thought am I ever going to get it do you know what I mean I, I thought I was like the forgotten man but I've got this last few weeks I've got the kick back in like I was yesterday sparring down doing sparring with Kyle Frampton some great rounds with him and I've got the, I've got the love back and I feel I, I belong at the level again now and I'm, I'm hungry I'm, it's nasty when I'm hungry Are you saying you fell out of the uh, out of love with the sport? Yeah I did because uh, obviously the last two years or so no disrespect it hasn't been the greatest year for me I, I usually have a great start like I won't be calling well for all things was going to pick up then and then it just went just obviously the Tyson fight fell off with Kalicho the rematch that fell through. Then I was meant to defend my Commonwealth on uh, the crawler bill against that one Yai lad and he refused a visa. That all went wrong, so I ended up doing a six rounder then. And then obviously I won me, uh, the European and I've done four rounds. I've never boxed since. So in the space of two years, I've done like nine rounds of boxing or 12 months, I should say. So it's starting to pick up now. I've had a word with Steve. We agree we need to be busy more. I need to be more on the eye. And that's what this fight is for next week. It's just get me back in love with it, get me training, get, get me hungry for something to come forward to. You're here at the Warrington and Sealand press conference, obviously, uh, Dennis Sealand, someone you know very well, and uh, you were kind of calling him out in the crowd there, uh, sit, sat there. Um, that's a fight that you want to take, the yes, rematch with Sealand. Yes, 1,000 billion, I, I said, listen, 
you've, you've, they, they picked me out as a voluntary. They thought they were going to eat easy night's work me when, go, when I went over there. They, they thought they were going to beat me easy, but look at that fight. I was getting into it. Uh, the first two rounds, yes, I give it to him. But we all know the storm, what was going to happen. I, I warmed him after two or three rounds, and coming into the fourth round, I was taken over, and basically, he shit his pants. He, he, he took, obviously, the cut was bad, but he took the easy way option, and straight after that fight, they said, the rematch, you will get the rematch, you will get the rematch. But he would look 12 months later, I'm still waiting for my rematch. Uh, 12 months later, nine months later, I'm still waiting for a rematch. And I just said to him there, once Josh beats him, I'm going to finish his career for him. He's still on my radar and I'm not letting it slip, do you know what I mean? I want him hungry and after dealing with the, the British, I'll, he'll be straight after. Well, I think we got the message today. Yeah, well, if we didn't get the message, then uh, I don't know how he's going to get it, do you know what I mean? He knows I don't like him. But not the fact that he said a lot of bad things to me in the build-up last time in uh, the De Danish papers. He was saying, like, uh, he wanted to kill me. He, do you know what I mean? He, he didn't like me one bit. So listen, if he doesn't like me that much, he knows where I am. He's over in my, my neck of the woods now. So let's get it on. As soon as you, as soon as you get a beating, but on Saturday night, I'll, I'll, I'll finish his career. How can anyone not like you, Isaac? I'm just a lovable, lovable rogue, aren't I? <laughs> no, but uh, I'm just me, aren't I? Listen, I like to have a laugh. Sometimes I don't mean I say stupid things, but sometimes I don't mean to say it comes out wrong, but. They said, I don't mean no harm to no one. I like to enjoy myself. Life's life in it. You enjoy it. And uh, as I said, it's all fun and games and someone gets hurt in it. So I'm looking forward to just getting back in the box and ring you and doing like the interviews again. Uh, getting back in the, the frame of box and getting people to know me because like I got on the spotlight at one stage and everyone was on about me. I was going to be this prospect. And just like I got the Vergotten Manson since that European, like a purse bid, got one for the British. And now it's happened, do you know what I mean? But now obviously Steve's put faith in me. He showed he, the commitment. And there's only one way for me to thank him is uh, go back and win that British title and bring it back home, and then we move on to bigger and better. And there's a little man out there called Reese Bellotti who's, who's supposed to be uh, shining all right, so you never know. Eddie. He won the Commonwealth crown recently. Yeah, my belt. I never lost that. That was my belt. I got that took off me for no reason. So that's mine. But I, I'm happy with him. He's doing good process. I'm not going to call him no names. He's doing well. He's well, When he's ready to step up for the big boys, you know where I'm at, boys. I, I take all the challenges. So... Yeah, keep winning. I keep winning, and you never know in the future we might uh, we might just bump into each other. We're testing. Just finally, um, have you spoke to your friend Tyson? Uh, yeah, I speak to you know, I speak to Tyson every second day. He's doing well. He's good. But it's not about Tyson. It's all about me. This, isn't it? It's all about me. I want to take the spotlight. No, <laughs> but he's doing well. Uh, he's just chilling out. He's obviously doing a bit of training. It's just Tyson. Do you know what I mean? He, one minute he's just training, then he's not. Then he is. And he, he just, you don't know what that lad's doing half the time. He just, he's one of them, isn't he? But yeah, he's the most important thing. He's all good, he's well, he's happy. So that's the most important thing in life, isn't it? Being mm. happy and being well, well. It's a bit unclear to everyone what's going on. I think even maybe so to Tyson as well. Well, uh, join the club, join the club. Mm. No one knows what's going on. Like, they keep holding them back, they won't give me his license. I don't know why, but then again, you would get some box, but Tyson won't be allowed, to, they're not allowed to box. It's just, it, listen, the top moment of it, they want to wait and wait and wait till he gets all that. Don't let build Josh here up and then try and give his license back. Do you know what I mean? Or oh, basically, they don't want him in the sport. It's one of the two in it. Do you know what I mean? Do you believe that people don't want Fury in the sport? I, I think in his younger career, he, he talked Tyson's Tyson talks his mouth, and I just think a lot of the, the top people in boxing, not the fans, because the fans, everyone wants to see him back. Every, everybody does. But I think the top people are boxing. I think they've just had enough of, of like what he is, his character. They don't like the way he goes on. But listen, if a person's got to speak his mind, he can speak his mind. We're human beings, aren't we? Everyone's got an opinion. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. Uh, wrong. Just get on with life. Do you know what I mean? Take it in one lung and out with another. But give me his licence back and let's get the big fight, what we all want to see. Isaac Lowe, have you got anything else you'd like to add? Uh, Ryan, I uh, hope you're training out well in Tenerife. I hope you've got looking well. I hope you're getting ready for the date. Well, as soon as we can get a date, we get it on. Dennis, I'm coming for you afterwards, and uh, I just want to say thanks for everyone who uh, who's keep faith for me and keep supporting me. And uh, my time will come. I'm only 23 year old. I know I've had a bit of a bad time, like slow tw last 12 months, so but things are good and uh, things happen for a reason. So keep faith, and I will be a world champ one day. Isaac Lowe, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Stop giving it to me on Twitter, though. I'm not. I'm not a boxer. Stop giving it to me on Twitter. <laughs> Because you're the one who everyone, you're the one who gets it into people. Do you know what I mean? So if we get a message to you, you get the you message. You get the message to me, but you were like offering to fight me and my cousins and that. Well, because you was giving cheek. You know, my, you know how those gypsy boys start. Cuban. My featherweight cousin Akpom. You... Akpom. I've all about. I've heard he made a good curry. <laughs> he does actually. <laughs>
No. Uh, Sri Lankan featherweight champion. You, you don't I, want none of them. I don't, want, I don't want one of them, man. <laughs> yeah. Look me, man. They fart and they'll knock you out with the smell of that curry. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't want none of that. Uh, I'm, I don't mean no harm with you, Kugan. No. Be, listen, you're an heavyweight, man. You're too big for me. I know. You know what I mean? I need to watch it to keep my space for you, man. I need to keep my space for you. <laughs> but you're looking well for once. I was just saying before. Because you're up north, you've got your stall island caught on. Pair of jeans on. What's going on with you? I right, have yeah, on. Otherwise, you get arrested right now. I think that. Uh, that online fight thing, what you done? What was it called? The filming on what yeah, you yeah. Did, uh, the stream. Uh, the stream. I yeah. think it must have worked well for you because buy yourself new clothes for once. Look good to look. See you looking tidy. Eyes at low. Thank you very much. <laughs> Top man. Top man. Thank you, mate.